gentlemen, it's upon us. The day has come, the day we all dread, the day that shreds our nerves. It's Derby Day. You right, guys, I'm Travelling Blade, and today we have the small issue of a Sheffield Derby. United travel to Hillsborough to take on Wednesday. It's quite a big derby, there's quite a lot of resting on it in terms of league positions. United are chasing the top two. Leeds and Norwich won this weekend. Wednesday found a bit of form under Bruce, won the last two games. You know, they're, chasing, they're starting to chase the playoffs now. A lot resting on the game tonight in terms of league position and, you know, the overall season. But tonight is just about one thing, just the bragging rights of Sheffield. More important than three points will ever be. Just who will win? Last two derbies have been pretty disappointing. United have been favourites for both. 2 0 nils. Last time out, McGoldrick missed a pen. I became a meme. It was quite frustrating. We struggled to break Wednesday down. I'm hoping tonight, United. Yet again, we're going in as favourites, third time in a row. I hate it, to be honest. I think there's about 4,000 blades going. Should be absolutely rocking. I imagine Wednesday, well, sold most of it out at least. Ended up giving us all a lot more seats. The nerves have absolutely gone. I've thrown up already today. Couldn't sleep last night. I absolutely hate this game. I hate this game. I mean, if, if you win, it's the greatest. And I mean, there'd be probably people watching this that support neither Wednesday or United. And I can't put it into words how, what this feels like, how big this game is. People overlook the Sheffield Derby just because it's not in the Premier League. But if anything, and that's just made it even better because there's, you know, there's no tourist fans like you get at like Man City, Man United. It is just pure blue collar passion and hatred and the vitriol in the stadium is tangible. Absolutely, it's sensational. But if you lose, it's sickening. If you win, it's the greatest feeling ever, pretty much. I'll say he's got a full fit side. I ain't got a clue who'll be playing. I don't know who'll be at the back. Will O'Connell come back? Will Baldock come back? Who will start up front? Will Medine play? Will Sharp start? Will McGoldrick? Will it be Duffy? Will it be Dowell? I imagine Fleck and Norwood are pretty certain. Egan. Will Craney be playing? Will it be Bash? There's so many uncertainties with United, even though we've got a fit squad. Jesus. I just hope we just don't let ourselves down. I think if we go out, play our best football, and just keep our heads cool, rise above the occasion. I'm not, I don't try to be arrogant, but if you've got a team that's like mid-table versus the team that's third, the team that's third should win. But for me, I think it's going to be one all. Um, I think Wednesday will score, I think they'll score first, that'll kill me, that happens. Um, and then I'm hoping for a late equaliser by United, Medina of all people, that would be seems. But my first time at Hillsborough, I'm dreading it to be honest. I've got an awful feeling Wednesday going to win. See, if, see what happens, seriously, it's, it's going to be a match for him. I just don't think you understand. Ah. Here's the biggest one, you go really far. Shout out to the Maltese players. Shout out to Jurgen. What a boy. I'm going to go 3 0 plays, mate. Sharp to McGoldrick, maybe, or a Dean, mate. It's last minute winner, mate. Seems. I Good know. Place. Fucking come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Yeah, mate. 
Oh blades long way. Yeah. Alright, we got Jamie and Tom watching thoughts of the day. I just fucking hope United win. I don't care. Prediction, what's the booking beer? I don't care. Don't who. Right. For me, we don't lose. Don't lose. Just United win. Two up blades. Two up blades. blades. Oh, United first win. First off, Medin win. I put to that call. Now kick it back in the That's the pen straight away. Hey! Come on! You're better than that! Laying ourselves down! Laying ourselves down! We're letting Wendy come on to us here when we shouldn't be. Oh, who's there? Oh, Jesus! We're really letting ourselves down with some of our passing today. Not about half time, Wednesday, no United, no. KG affair to say the best. Listen, it's not great, not a great game to be honest. If, if this was Forest v Redden, no one would care. It's not a great game to be honest. I think we've had the best chance uh, with Medine's header. Didn't score. Um, to be honest, I think that's the only time a keeper has to do anything. Um, Wednesday have had a few times where they've run onto us. Sent a cross in, forced a corner. That's about it. A few shots they've had deflected. Both sides, to be honest, have done nothing much more than force a corner. The refs pissed everyone off. Wednesday fans are booing him. We're booing him. Not much to report. It's not been the greatest half, to be honest. Um, yeah, again, another cagey close affair. Not great football, to be honest, by either side. United, we aren't playing our best. Both sides have been playing a bit of hoof ball here and there. Um, I think look, in, our, in areas our short passing let us down at times, it's not a pretty game, but that's still City Derby, you've got the rain coming down under the lights and it's not pretty. Oh. Oh. Start to second half for United. I'm just hoping we may tang this. Should have scored. Should have scored. That's two good chances we've missed now. When Throwing 
fucking cans of Medine now. Gotta love it. They've got Medine! Go me, Medine! I just don't think you understand! That defending by United. Shambolic. We should be 1 0 down. We should be 1 0 down. Poor finish straight to Henderson. Henderson well to get down to it, but Henderson was in the right place. But Wednesday should be 1 0. But all I can think is what the fuck was that defending by United? That's fucking him in hot. Nice little spell from United. Great run by Craney though. Great run. I thought it was gone. Managed to keep it alive and create something out of it. But all the livers have been shit today. Useless. What's annoying me is that our best creative players come now towards the end of the match. Why have we been playing like this all game? Crane has been our best creative player, he's a fucking defender. We've played some good creative football in the last five, ten minutes, but we've had to wait till now for it to come. And to sing! I thought it was quite dull. Um, I thought the level of quality, the quality of football from both sides, uh, left a lot to be desired. Wednesday were more positive than they have been in the last two derbies. Um, they were quite negative in the last two. This one, they were a bit more positive, I suppose, at home. Even though they played more positive than they have been done before, I did think they would uh, play, you know, attack even more than they did last night. I thought they'd be a bit more on the front foot, a bit more hungry for it. I mean, don't get me wrong, they, they tried, but I thought they'd try, you know go for even more than they did last night. Um, don't get me wrong though, United, we were poor to be honest. Um, probably one of our worst performances of the season. It wasn't it wasn't horrendous, but it just wasn't good. Uh, we lacked a lot creatively. I mean, like a lot of the time we were just hoofing it up to Medine. We've got to where we are in the league due to our fast flowing and passing football with overlapping players, you know, around the box. And last night we were just trying to hoof it up to Medine quite a bit. The short passing was quite poor. Oh, there's a few midfield battles that we weren't winning, which we should have. I thought Sharp was taken out of the game. Didn't really play to his strength. You know, he needs good service, and we were just trying to hoof it up. And they've got big defenders, and Sharp ain't that tall. It's just not going to work. I thought our most creative player was Craney, of all people, when Craney came on. Um, I'd have liked to have seen Duffy, Duffy play, maybe not, even if not start, come on. But I thought when McGoldrick came on, we got a little bit better. You know, a few flicks, you know, flick ons and that helped us. I also thought Hogan, I'm not sure if he was on the bench, but I thought Hogan would have helped us uh, just a bit more pace up front, to be honest, because um, <clears throat> we were struggling to break Wednesday down. 
a lot of the time Wednesday cancelled us out, closed us down, stopped us from playing. Don't get me wrong, Wednesday, Wednesday stopped us playing, but it's almost like we also stopped ourselves from playing. Like we almost didn't want to play or couldn't really play football that much. We looked nervous on the ball at times. Every time we'd get the ball, we'd look, we'd sort of panic a bit, uh, leading to like rush passes. I think Wednesday just had enough pressure on us to force our defence into hoofing it up from. So Wednesday played quite well, to be honest. They had a game plan stuck to it. Could have won, should have won, to be honest, I suppose. Um, they had the best chance of the game. I think it was Hutchinson. Henson, you know, good save by Henson, but it was straight at him. Um, but what that, that scared me, because the defending before that was shambolic by United. Just running with their back to him, trying to turn around. Awful defending, and we could have lost, we could have quite easily lost 1 0. Medine had a good chance early on. Apart from that, we didn't have that much to be honest. I think there was one later on where Sharp almost got a toe on it. Apart from that, I think I think I keep, each keeper had one save to make, probably. But yeah, I thought there were times where I'm thinking, when's the flipping opening is up here? There were a few times at the end where, where United, I think it was after McGold that came on, where we started to have a decent little spell. We actually created and started to play at least somewhat like we usually do. We send a few balls in, but you know, Wednesday got down to everything, cleared everything, and we didn't really find anyone. So we just we just really liked the creative edge today. And Duffy wasn't on the pitch, which I think reinforces my point that I always mention. Sometimes without Duffy, we, we're toothless. So, well, I mean, funny, the best part of the night was probably the pub and the coach beforehand, because it, it wasn't a great game. The concourse was rammed. I thought that was poorly managed, especially with it being a Hillsborough all places. Um, I thought the police, I thought the fans let themselves, well, some fans let themselves down at the end. Come out, there's coins, bottles flying all over. I've heard reports of bricks and fireworks. Uh, but then again, there was Wednesday fans helping, there's other Wednesday fans helping United fans that had got a glass in the face. And then there was United fans helping women and kids that were Wednesday fans by getting them onto the coaches to keep them safe. Awfully managed by South Yorkshire Police. Yes, the fans didn't behave themselves, but you've got to manage them better. I thought we'd be held back 10, 15 minutes in the ground. No, they let us out. You've got the bloody Wednesday fans right there. Uh, you've got this pathetic little fence in the middle that did bugger all. It may as well have not been there. And then the police themselves were just stood, just stood there watching whilst you know you got women and kids getting crushed. And then just few and a few batons, you know, just to look like they were like you know, or best look busy. Um, really poorly managed. Really poorly managed. To be honest, I think even some of the officers were saying that oh yeah, it's bad management. So it's not particularly their fault. It's the people, the forces, powers that be at South Yorkshire Police once again letting themselves down in the Sheffield derby. And then they wonder. <coughs> If you look at other derbies, you you know you look at the Manchester derbies, uh, London derbies, Glasgow derbies, Liverpool derbies. There's more, thousands more people at those derbies, and they're much better managed. South Yorkshire, though, you've got 30,000 people to manage. All those other games have at least twice that, and they just can't they just can't handle it. Um, they said they can't handle it. they said they can't handle it on weekends. They couldn't handle it Monday night. People, I suppose it's easy to come out and say, oh, well, the fans should behave better. Yes, I suppose. But there's always going to be something, and it, it's poorly managed. And if you, if, you, if you manage it poorly, it just paves the way for more violence and chaos. Because it was pretty chaotic. Didn't know what was happening. So, yeah, not a great game by any means. We move on to Rotherham at home and try and chase down the top two. We know we're slightly out. I think we're two points outside that now. But we've got to try and hunt them down as best as we can. Anyway guys, I've been the Traveling Blade and I'll see you for Rotherham at home.